Chapter 28, Day 1, Video 6, Supplemental. So there's a, I'm going to go a little bit more in depth on some of the components that are not located on this steer axle. Okay, so we've got a steering gear, called the steering gear, or the, ste the gear box, or the ste steering box. Um, we want to call it a steering gear. So we've got our shaft coming in from the steer uh, steering wheel, turns inside here, causes this sector shaft to rotate back and forth. So if we take a close look here, we've got the splines on that sector shaft, okay? So the next component that feeds into, the, that feeds into is a uh, drag link, I'm sorry, a pitman arm. Pitman arm comes off of my steering gear. And if we look inside there, corresponding um, grooves in here, that engage into the, the grooves in the, the sector shaft. So our pitman arm drops that motion down from the steering gear, and that's that rotational motion up here, and again turns into that linear motion back and forth here. So we've got our pitman arm. Here is our drag link. The drag link connects the pitman arm and the steering arm here on the axle, okay? So our drag link makes that connection. Um, it's got a tie rod end on each end. So there's a tie rod end, there's a tie rod end, all right? And what a tie rod end is, if you look at this one here, here's one part of that tie rod end. So this tie rod end right here is going to have that ball and a socket that goes around it, all right? So as that rotates back, we allows that motion to happen back and forth. Well, this is going to rotate just a little bit as it's moving back and forth. That's why we've got that ball in that cup, allows just a little bit of rotational motion here, right? So here's one of the things that we've got to be careful for is if it's a loose fit, right? We're gonna get a lot of slop or a lot of movement before it takes up all that wear and then finally starts to move, right? So if you want to think of a tie rod as a ball and socket, um, that'll work.